fine-grained adjustments constantly and you can be like a fisherman with a fishing pole that you're you're kind of jerking the the hook up and down it's, it's bouncing up and down and so you start by using that very flexible digital mechanism to tempt in a bunch of users and then find a way to lock them in and if it's social media you don't even have to find a way users just lock each other in because they they now they can't agree on where to go next right uh and so they're all just stuck there even though they all hate it right um and and once those users are locked in you're like okay well now i can start making life worse for them in order to make life better for someone else so i can make things better for advertisers or publishers either by spying on my users or increasing the portion of their feed that is uh, suggested stories. Uh, and then once the users and the publishers uh, or the users and the publishers and the advertisers are all locked in, then you want to withdraw all the surplus that you can, leave them just enough of a residue that they stay locked in, and give it all back to your shareholders. That's kind of your fiduciary duty at this point. Now that everyone's on the hook, you, you, you want it, you want to strip them to the bone. And the problem is that, you know, the difference between a service that is so bad that you want to leave it but you can't, and a service that's so bad that you're leaving, is like I, I really one stamp, very angry. right? One whistleblower oh, complaint, one you know, live stream inside. mass shooting, one Can't privacy rupture. No. And then people yeah, just, no, like, in an instant I, go I just, from, really God, I hate this, but I can't give it up, to, you know, oh, my really, God, what really am I still doing up. here? I'm out. You know, an, and it, um, it, and it I think starts, that's what Twitter no is experiencing. It, really. it just keeps, you, you know, everyone's got a different like, version of that like, point. But as Dana points out in that article, it's self-accelerating. Uh, um, you know the the uh, well, you know once once people start to leave well, the value of the system uh, goes down and so you don't need as much of a, then I'd run uh, up my bedroom a push to go it off there. because there's less holding you because the people you were staying to um, hang out with are already gone uh, already so it's easier for you to unstick yourself look over the words, and, and when that, that happens you know platforms start to um, you know, and then gradually and the, the term of art in the tech cycle for panicking is pivoting so you know Mark Zuckerberg is like we we're going to pivot to a company that will turn you all into uh, heavily surveilled, low polygon, uh, sexless, legless cartoon characters in a virtual world I stole from a 25-year-old cyberpunk novel. And it can be pretty hard to convince people that the guy who just made the service that they actually liked into something terrible is someone they should follow into something even more implausible. I mean, Threads did better than Metaverse, but it, it remains to be seen whether Threads will be durable at all. Yeah, it almost feels like he's pivoted again from the, from the metaverse. Now, so yeah, I think he has. Maybe to AI. It's so, it's so funny because every week, I, you know, I, I, I'm looking at news headlines and almost every case, I look at it and say, oh yeah, there's some more insidification. Oh yeah, there's some more. It's happening again. Uh, and I suspect, I suspect some of the stories we're going to talk about Yeah, and I got this definitely looks at that uh, article by Dana. Okay, I don't know if you see that. I don't see the Zoom chat. Uh, is there maybe you should post it in the IRC? Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty much the spreadsheet. Yeah. Is it a recent article or? Well, it's twenty. It's from December twenty twenty two. Okay, it's called What a Failure is the Plan. I just put it in the spreadsheet. So it's relatively recent interest. Yeah, and it's very good. Dana's a great writer, obviously, and very smart. Yeah, she really. Uh, 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 she would be another good person. Tears in our eyes. She would be. Um, what if the same failures? Maybe we can fly. It's not AI. Uh, what's we sad know is that uh, all these platforms seem to forget that the reason they exist is because of us, the people who are putting the content. Uh, I guess that's also part of the process, is a part of the successor to it and whose primary characteristic is that it's operating fine for the people who use it. I think that's the, the thing that the tech sector fears the most is the idea that the people who use the technology would have the final say in how it works because it means that you can't, you know, put your thumb on the scales and say parties are over, I'm mixing a metaphor here, but say like parties are over for a long time you got to hang out.
Thinking about well, how do we make sure that we have a sensible, appropriate, engaging 